Welcome to Electron Online, and we're going to do another video on Stirling's approximation. In the previous video, we saw how it was defined and how it was derived. Now we're going to simply use it in a way that it's easy to understand. So, again, what we're trying to do here is find a way to express a very large number factorial, like 100 factorial. We want to express in terms of 10 to some exponents. So what we're trying to do is find out what x is equal to, what that exponent is equal to. And if you try to do this on a calculator, if you punch in 100 factorial on your calculator, you probably will get an error message because most calculators cannot do that. We need a pretty powerful computer in order to be able to do that. So we need that approximation. And when n becomes large, the approximation gives you a very accurate value with a very small approximation error. So here's the equation that says that the natural log of 100 factorial, in this case, in general, the natural log of n factorial, n can be any number, is equal to n times the natural log of n minus n plus 1. Notice that most approximations that will leave off the plus 1, but I like to keep it there because it makes it a little bit more accurate that way. We also need to realize that we need to be able to convert from natural log base e to log base 10. And the conversion is the log base 10 of some number a is equal to 1 over the natural log of 10, which is the base of log, times the natural log of a. That's how we convert from the natural log to the log base 10. And so in this case, we can then say that 1 over the natural log of 10 is equal to 0.4343 to four significant decimal places. So the log of base 10 of a is therefore equal to 0.4343 times the natural log of a. And if we replace a by n factorial, then we can say that the log base 10 of n factorial is 0.4343 times the natural log of n factorial. So it's simply taking the result of this and multiplying this times 0.4343 to get it converted to log base 10 because then we can take the antilog and find out what the exponent is of 10. I'll show you in a moment why we do that. Let's take the antilog of both sides. So let's say 10 raised to the log base 10 of n factorial is equal to 10 raised to 0 0.4343 times the natural log of n factorial. Remember, the natural log of n factorial is that Stirling approximation. This simply will get replaced by n times the natural log of n minus n plus 1. We multiply times 0 0.4343, and that becomes the exponent of 10 of uh, the number 10, which will be the exponent x. So in other words, this here represents x. So we can say that this therefore is equal to 0 0.4343 times the natural log of n factorial. Remember, n factorial is Stirling's approximation. And of course, the left side of the equation, when we raise 10 to the log base 10, that negates itself. And we can then say that n factorial therefore is equal to 10 raised to 0 0.4343 times the natural log of n factorial. And so what we can see then is, then if we replace n by 100, we can then say that 100 factorial simply is equal to 10 times, or 10 raised to the 0 0.4343 times the natural log of 100 factorial. And that's how we use Stirling's approximation. So we can say that since x is equal to that, we can then say as an example, uh, we take 100 factorial, that would therefore equal um, 10 to the x power, and of course we're trying to find out what x is equal to. And what we can say therefore is, from this derivation, we can say that x is equal to 0 0.4343 times the natural log of 100 factorial. So that's how we know what that exponent is equal to. And all we have to do is replace the natural log 100 factorial by Stirling's approximation. In other words, x is going to be equal to 0 0.4343 times n times the natural log of O. Oh, in this case, since of course we know what n is equal to, this is going to be equal to 100 times the natural log of 100. Ooh, let me get a paper towel here and clean the board a little bit, because sometimes if the board is dirty, it doesn't write. So the natural log of 100, there we go, uh, minus 100 plus 1. So all we have to do is evaluate this, multiply times this, that's the exponent, and then we simply write 100 factorial equal to 10 raised to that exponent. So let's get a calculator and figure out what it's equal to. So we take the natural log of 100 times 100, minus 100 plus 1. 
and that gives us 361.52. So we get x is equal to 0 0.4343 times 361.52, and then of course times 0.4343 equals, and we can say that x is equal to 157. So that's how we find the exponent, and therefore we can conclude that 100 factorial is equal to 10 raised to the x power. Since x is 157, we can write 157. And there you go. There's a very simple way of using Stirling's approximation. And in statistical thermodynamics, since we use a lot of large number of factorials, it comes in really handy like this. And that's how we use it.